Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Dead Space. My name's Brian, your host and commentator, and let's visit the store real quick so I can buy a power node. We can get in this power node room. Pulse rounds, yeah, it's a schematic. It automatically puts the schematic in there. Sell that large one and this gold one. There we go, that's just enough. I don't need this mean air can either. I don't really need all three of these either, I feel. Um... Pulse around. So yeah, power note. All right, cool. Moving on. Go ahead and place the thermite detonator thing, whatever, while we're here. I think it's chapter six that you revisit this area. Whoa! No damage to us whatsoever. I like it. Just the way I like it. Okay, you're through. Should be clear from there to the morgue. Remember, the codes are on the captain's body. <laughs> This Video is log there. Medical officer Nicole Brennan transmitting ship wide. We need more help. We don't have the resources to deal with this many cases. Nobody would tell us what's happening. These wounds. We are not equipped to deal with this. God. Get him to the table. Hold him. Not if you hold him down. Every corner. All right, a couple of lurkers here. Cool, right? They're lurking. Here when that log was made. I'm Hold sure on, Hammond. I gotta deal with some lurkers. Head. Hold on. I ain't got time for your shit right now. Ouch! Damn it, he got got me with his. There we go. Got them both. That's it, though. Just those two. So once you take them out, you're pretty much free to explore this place. Some line racks are over here on the table. I think there's some stuff on the middle tables too on uh, easier difficulties, but there was nothing on the middle tables when I went through on uh, my practice run. So let's grab this battery. We gotta throw it in this this little slot over here. It's gonna turn on all the lights. Actually, make this place a little more a little more bearable, a bit easier to deal with. See, woo. See, so yeah, I check all the tables. We're playing on easier difficulty. That plasma energy he dropped. I think there's yeah, there's some stuff in here too. All these lockers that are closed right now will be um, accessible later on during the revisit. So I think that's pretty cool how they did that. I don't know. I think it was pretty groovy. Um, ooh, I didn't realize my health was where it's at. Let's see. Yeah, I could just use two of those to bump me back up to full. All right, that's fine. All right, what have we got here? There's gonna be a guy coming around the corner too. Look out for that one. It's quick. You gotta be ready. I should have waited. Go ahead and trigger this guy while that's going on. There's one crawling down there. Oh shit! I forgot about the one behind you. <laughs> I'm I'm a crazy motherfucker. All right. I gotta worry about these tentacles, and if I if I get a if they take another casualty in the process, I'm fine with that. Look at that! I just can't believe I didn't get hit on any of those. Let's get all their goodies. Um, there's something back here on in on easier difficulties. I think it's like a medium med pack right there. Here's that power node room though, right here. Is a ton of ammo, fuck ton of ammo, and the most important thing, line rack schematics, which I'm gonna need. So there's like six clips on the ground. I bet this is ammo. Yeah, you bet your ass that's ammo. Line rack schematic, nice. Watch this be ammo. Oh, nice, okay, that's even better. I spoke too soon and I'm glad I did. I don't think there's any, yeah, there shouldn't be anything in these little nooks here, but just to make sure. Doesn't hurt to make sure. There's this in the corner. Anybody hear me? My name is Eileen Fisk. I just woke up in here and everybody was gone. I don't know what's happening. Why did they all leave? I'm going to try and find someone. If you can hear this, please come for me. I can hear scratching in the wall. Hello? Who's there? Are, are you a doctor? Why is everybody... Wait. I know you. You're Harry, the president of the colony. You killed that nurse. Help. Somebody help me. Please. Oh, jeez. Doesn't sound like things ended up good for her. 
As you can see, I took out all those necromorphs. There's all these O2 um, recharge things too for your oxygen spread about, but uh, you're not going to need those on this chapter. We'll definitely need them on the revisit. Newborns. Here's a list of all the newborn babies. Cool, I guess. I don't know. I guess this is where women gave birth. The area they gave birth. I think it's that infirmary, right? <laughs> or it's the medical. We're in the medical wing. I don't know. Whatever. I can't remember what these doors say. But holy shit. Hey, what's going on here? This ain't natural. Oh, don't look at me like that, you crazy lady. Text log there. We'll read that in a minute. Oh. This is madness. This is just silly. Uh, there's some line racks, I believe, over here on an easier difficulty. Text log, another one. Science log from Dr. Kine T, Chief Science Officer, Captain Matthias B. Benjamin, further to our previous conversation, I ask that you delay bringing the marker up from the planet for a day or two. You know I'm as keen as anyone to study it in detail, and I understand your sense of urgency given the events on the colony, but that's why I ask. What's happening down there is just too unique, too unprecedented to cut it short without proper time to study the causes and effects. In light of discussion I had with Dr. Mercer, I'd like to meet with Drs. Uh, Schiari 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 fuck, Schiarello and Welland Planet Side to get their observations. Love, Terrence. There's Dr. Mercer's office. Can't get in there, though. We'll be getting in there on the revisit, as you probably guessed. Oh shit, we got ourselves another fucking log. There's an enemy that pops out of here too, it's just one lurker though, so don't worry. The colony's problems concern me greatly. I have no doubt they are somehow linked to the discovery of the marker. But the exact nature of that connection is still unknown. Almost 40% of the colonists are experiencing a form of dementia. The obvious symptoms are acute depression, insomnia, and hallucination. Incidents of violence and even murder also indicate extreme paranoia. Dr. Mercer has advised that I bring some of the affected on board for study. Dr. Wellen, the planet side psychiatrist, has reported that his own analysis has been fruitless. I'm hesitant to rely on Dr. Mercer at this point, but I need his expertise. We need solutions, and we need them quickly. Alright, so here's kind of a mini boss fight, and I just realized I missed some line racks in the room with the workbench. You can stomp these bodies because this thing is an infector. And what it's going to do is it's going to infect these bodies once it bursts out of this glass thing. So I'm going to stomp these up real quick. Cut the limbs off and get this, this uh, stasis ready. I'm going to blast it as soon as it goes through the window. Boom, got them both. Nice. Let's take care of the big boy first. And now the, the, the infector has no bodies to infect. So there we go, that kills the, that's the captain right there, and let's go ahead and kill the lurker. Just blast him, he doesn't really have a weak spot, I guess, you just gotta shoot him enough. And there he goes. Captain's rig, we gotta snag that, and a small med pack from the, the infector, nice. Codes received, and they look good. Thank God. I'll start accessing the captain's records right now. Power the node. Station, and I'll contact you there. I'm going to find out what the hell happened to this ship. So these are the two like big collectibles in this area, the power node and this text log. There's some ammo right here. Metal log, Dr. Domus G. He's a G. Gangsta. Medical examiner. Report of death on ship. Subject Captain Matthias B. Benjamin Matthias. Womp wah. It is my sad duty to officially pronounce Captain Benjamin Matthias dead. Reports of the exact circumstances surrounding his death are conflicted. And beyond the scope of my rule, I can only report on the body. The subject was in generally good health for his age, though a cursory blood test indicates his leukocyte count was very low. With eosinophils, uh, with eosinophils, I don't know, in particular almost non-existent, his pre-flight physical exam showed no such problems, indicating rapid onset. However, it is unlikely this had any effect on his death. Multiple contusions on the arms and hands indicating a brief struggle pre-mortem. Slight contusion around the rib cage, suggesting his chest was restrained in some way. Cause of death was a single prolonged trauma to the ocular body, which continued on through the cavity wall and finally into the frontal lobe, causing rapid neurotrauma, seizure, and death. 
The force required to puncture the ocular cavity in this manner is great, and the possibility of self-infliction correspondingly low. I therefore have no alternative but to record a preliminary verdict of unlawful death. It was murder! Whether deliberate or accidental is beyond my jurisdiction. So we actually do get to witness the captain's death later on, so I'll save it for that. But he gets stabbed in the eye right into the brain and just done, though. You'll see it all unfold, don't worry. Let's head on in here. We have some wrapping up of this chapter to do. Back in here, no enemies will attack you, so don't worry. Except when you go in here, there's another one of those big guys that we just fought with the lurker. Yeah, there he is. Oh, nice try, asshole. There we go. That wasn't too bad. I still got to. I didn't even didn't even need to use my stasis. I love it. Let's snag this now. And this should be the last log we get. Somehow one of them found a way down to the captain's nest. I managed to contain it in a damaged escape pod. Lifting executive lock down now. Got to grab found this. Deck logs. Whatever is happening around here, it came from the planet when they cracked it open. It spread to the colony and reached the ship. Isaac, this isn't an infection. It's some form of alien life. <laughs> Shit, we've got bigger problems. The ship's engines are offline and our orbit is decaying. Get over to the engineering deck ASAP while I stay here and figure out what the problem is. Alright, so yeah, let's hit the store up real quick. Put in the line rack schematic. Um, I don't know how many. I'm gonna go refill my stasis at a station, so I don't have to worry about that. Got a lot of plasma, a lot of plasma energy. Uh, if we sell the, hmm. Just won't be quite there. I'd have to sell this or these. No, that wouldn't be enough. Yeah, there's the line racks. Oh man, I don't know if I need a power node next episode though. That's the problem. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done the practice playthrough of that part yet. Um, uh, geez, because I could go get those line racks. No, that still wouldn't be enough. Okay, yeah. Oh shit, I forgot to buy the. Let me buy the nodes. Alright, let me show you where to get that the set of line racks that I missed. It's the ones going up the elevator. I totally forgot about them when I was, uh, I don't know, going through this part. There's a stasis recharge right here. There's not a stasis recharge early on in, the, in Chapter 3. I do know that, so be aware of that. I believe there's a workbench, too, at the beginning of Chapter 3 in a store, so it's not too bad. You can just sell the line racks then. But they're actually right up here. So boom. Can kinesis that. And uh, let's put these. Let's put two more points into this. I also got to check my logs too. I want to do that at the end of each chapter. I keep forgetting to. We got three nodes. Um, I don't want to do the capacity yet. I could. I could go this route. Or I could do some with my stasis. Yeah, maybe I'll do duration with my stasis. Let's start on this. Get a duration boost. How about that? That sounds good. Alright, cool. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to need a node, but I know I'm going to find out. I know there's at least one node um, room, I'm pretty sure, next, next chapter. But I think I'll be able to purchase a power node before I need to, you know, use your, get to, before I get to the power node door. I guess we'll find out. Let's head on back. A little bit shorter than the, the last episode. Last episode had a lot of area to cover. This one had some more text logs, though. Wrong one. We're speaking of. Here, let's look at my inventory. Oh, yeah. I've, oh, here. There's a store out here, isn't there? Yeah, it's right here. I'll sell the line racks right now. Yeah, I'm going to wait till Chapter 4 before I buy them. Or maybe the, the end of Chapter 3 is when I'll buy them. I'll buy these line... Or I'll buy the line gun, I mean. 
So yeah, I think I'm doing all right. Okay, cool. And there's a workbench early on, and I got the small med packs. So I'm at full health. Doing good. Okay, let's go over everything real quick before I end this chapter and save. This is my loadout. Not a whole lot going on here. That's fine. There's the map. We explored all that shit. We'll be coming back to this chapter too. So I believe you can get the power node doors if you didn't get them the first time. There's our log. Go to engineering. We did all this stuff. Kill the captain. We slew that captain. And uh, here we go. Let's check out the logs. Boom, got all the logs. And here's the logs from chapter one. I didn't go over those. Let's show all those off. Nice. Beautiful. So yeah, we got all the logs. Chapter three is next. You can see it has a, a few logs as well. And that's about it. So I guess we'll just end the episode. I'm, I'm not going to prolong it anymore. It's all we can do for now. So thank you all for watching. My name is Brian, and hopefully I will see you next chapter.